Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Now today your boy is feeling a bit uh a bit scuffed, but I'm doing all right, okay? I'm definitely doing okay. Let me close out the UI for just a minute. And I did rush doing all of this in the last video where we were working on this and playing the game through, you can't really see a lot of it. Like this waterfall, for example, you can't see it all. So I'm gonna move this up and back. And what we're doing today is just making the game look a ton better, okay? Like just so much better. That's my only goal. And I just want it to look actually good instead of really rushed and thrown together. Now, I do gotta admit, I've been uh, pretty lazy when it comes to making the game just because I've been in like a ridiculous amount of pain, but that's not really a good excuse. So we're here to make things better, all right? I'm gonna add in some low poly terrain. Uh, we can have like rocks and stuff. Let me just add in some assets real quick. We're still only focusing on this one zone today because I, I can't. I don't have enough time to make all these assets because it takes me like triple the time it used to to make a single object and it's it's actually just horrible so we're gonna focus on the beach today and i i want to see kind of how far i can push it now i did add more space in between these just so i have like more space to work and i can actually test some stuff but let's go ahead i think i'm just gonna bring in some asset packs for now i'll probably just bring in ices that'll work that'll give us everything we need to have at least for now so i want to use this guy because i think that'd be a pretty cool thing so I'm going to do control C, control V, get that kind of out of there, put it over there. And then of course these rocks, I think these rocks are like probably my favorite thing in this asset pack, honestly. So let's do control C and control V on that as well. And I think that's all we really need from the pack. I don't want to overly use just like everything. I just, uh, you know, some quick stuff to help us out a little bit. So with this, I have an idea. We could kind of go something along these lines, scoot it up and make this look more like a waterfall something like that it is a bit strange on the side here so i have to kind of be careful i can have one lower maybe something like this to block all that off and move it back some maybe even a little more Control r to rotate it and then put another one on this side boom Control r r just so they're all a bit different and then the rocks i can put those scale down quite a bit and we could turn can collide off for everything like that so right here boom and then can can collide off and that just you know players will be able to easily run through it should be pretty nice so let's sink all of these in grab like kind of like this oh we could even make this quite a bit bigger and kind of like something like that looks pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i do want to take just these two so Control c Control v move them over this way Control r r there we go and then put them somewhere like up here just so they add a bit more depth to the game this is the main goal of today's video, just making things look a bit more visually pleasing and hoping for the best. Also, I've been getting a lot of crap for my color theory lately, and I will be the first to admit my color theory is so bad. I usually over vibrate stuff, uh, so I got to work on that as well. I don't really know the best way to learn color theory. Uh, and I guess what looks good to me looks good to literally nobody else. So that's a bit of a problem, actually because i'm in a sort of a market where i need to appeal to other people so i'm gonna work on it guys i'm definitely gonna work on it and i'm just gonna keep getting better and better as i go and hope for the best now these guys we could actually put on the path and i'll just turn the can collide off it seemed a bit strange when they were just kind of floating in fact if we use a zillow's pack we could use that little um hill that they have i believe it's this pack and I'm just gonna take this little snow mound, control C V, delete the pack now, and I could turn this into like some sand at a beach. So let's pick the color, and then I'll use like a color picker. Um, add um pick screen color, and we'll match it up with that. And we'll shrink this down and shrink it this way, of course. Bring it back, bring it up. So it's just kind of sandy now. I don't know if I overly, overly like it, but it kind of does the trick that we're looking for. So I'm going to stretch it out this way, stretch it out this way just a little bit. And now we have sort of a beach that we can, we can put this on, which will look pretty good. We'll also add rocks to it over here. I want like some of those little rocks. All right, so we got these two little rocks. I'm just going to put them like right up here, sink them into the ground just a hair. There we go. And then I'll sink this guy down a little bit more, just like that. And now I need to put all of these pieces within the right folder, which I believe this is, uh, which one is this guy? This is straight with hold. So all of the pieces just need to go right in there. So rocks, terrain, 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 snow patch. And I believe all of this stuff is also just rocks. All right, so here's a little scene. 
and we're just gonna move these into the right folder straight with hole into the parts there we go now i do want to take some of this sand Control d and kind of move it forward uh and it'll give like a cool aesthetic i feel something like this i guess but i'll have to make it drag down quite a bit more because you don't want to like see it i guess that would be a bit of a a little bit of a problem and then we'll do Control d rotate it twice put one over here and honestly i'm just gonna test it out and see if the game still works now hopefully we get this first i just gotta see because i want the game to look so much better than it does currently and i think this will help a lot if we do it through all the zones now i'm just gonna die until we get the zone that we're looking for um of course not the zone we're looking for oh why why do we have an invisible one strange okay uh that doesn't kill you yet either okay these should there we go and I'm just waiting until we get the beach zone, so hopefully that can happen pretty soon. I don't know why we have an invisible mesh in the uh, black and white zone. A little strange, but it's all good. Oh my gosh, are we just going to keep getting this? We're going to run it, guys. We got it. All right, please, next zone. Let us get the beach zone. I just got to see. There we go. All right, so this is the old work like that we did last video, and it doesn't look that good as you can see. But if we keep going, we should hopefully get the one zone that we worked on please oh gosh don't do it okay right here oh yeah that looks so much better that looks insanely better guys like the f oh my gosh oh yeah so i'm definitely going to be spending a lot of time doing all of these zones uh because that looks incredible compared to like this for example so like we're running here and we have this kind of an angle and we see a tree floating in the sky it's not that cool but this zone looked incredible, like actually good, and I'm pretty proud of myself for it. So, I guess thanks to Icy Dev's asset pack, but you know, I'm gonna build out the rest of these zones, and I'll be back when I get done. All right, guys, I am back, and look at this. It looks so much better than every other zone. In fact, let me go ahead and hop in and show you guys how it looks when you're actually playing the game, all right? It looks fantastic. So before we have like zones like this, where there's nothing in the front or the back, it's just the obstacles that you jump over, and there's not too much depth to the game or life for that matter. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just oof real quick and try to get into the beach zone. There we go, so check this out guys. Boom, look at this. All already so much better. Now, there is some pine, or not pine trees, palm trees, kind of randomly placed. Some of them are in the front, some of them are in the back. I don't know why that one is really low. I still haven't found that in the build, but it looks so, so, so much better now. So much more life, and I don't know where that guy comes from either. I think the parts that have, like, two steps, I have to make them smaller. I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean. So, it looks a lot better already. Check this out. We have a couple zones that have a top and a bottom. So, right here... And I think when this top connects with a bottom of a different one, these are too big. So that's what's kind of poking through. So let me kind of make this one smaller and put it, I don't know, over here, I guess. And even a little smaller than that. There we go. And probably the same with this guy. Just a little bit smaller. We can rotate it. Why not? And this guy could probably be a little smaller too. Because the huge pine tree are just, or not pine palm trees are kind of intersecting with each other and another thing i want to do is kind of stretch all of these a little bit so they connect with each other better i don't know if this is going to be uh, a, a win or a loss here okay i'm just gonna try it and hope for the best so every bit of sand pits i just gotta i just gotta extend them a little and hopefully they connect well with whatever's coming next in line anything else we got this guy right here there we go this guy right here this guy i'm really hoping for the best with uh with how this one turns out guys this one doesn't overly need to connect we can connect it here drop this down a bit and this guy can go out can go out can go out and i think that's all we gotta do so let me play it again and hope that everything just looks a little bit better and there's not as many clipping trees i know in the foreground we have stuff like here no that's not in the foreground like right here there's a lot going on and then there's one other stage that has a tree that's kind of in the front right here so i'm gonna make this guy a lot smaller um just to kind of help people see a little bit it could be a little bigger than that there we go and i think that's all good so let's test this out again i think it looks so so much better and we haven't even done all the lighting effects yet either i don't know why this one's invisible but i'm gonna commit die so i can go to the beach zone not the toxic zone even though i can't wait to make this zone i'll probably do this one next because it's gonna be really fun so if you like this video and you want to see me like completely transform this whole game like i've done with the beach zone already uh let me know because it's gonna be really really i'm just trying to get to the beach zone guys that's it just get me there we go so this looks so much better than it did look at this guys it's like a whole new game oh yes i like it now i don't see any branches clipping through 
like we had previously, so that's good. Uh, I do need to turn Cancolite off on some of those leaps, though, because I did clip that a little bit. And for the most part, I got it going pretty good. Check this out, though, guys. And if you go into here, you can't see, but you die. And it, I think this is looking really good, guys. So I think that's going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy it and you want to see me do more of this, guys, this is a lot. But it'll look so cool doing it through all, all of the zones. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.